Okay, question two is about President's Tables. It says, draw the activity network described in the President's Table using um, activity on arc and exactly two dummies. Okay, so we've got uh, the President's Table here. So let's just go through this. It's always good to draw the first one fairly rough because usually you have to rub something out or change something around. So let's have a go. Uh, let's start with the first node here. Then the first activity, A, comes off here. So we've got A there, and it has uh, no precedence. It doesn't depend on anything. B doesn't depend on anything. And C doesn't depend on anything either. Now let's have a look at uh, D. D depends on A and B. So let's have... Now because it depends on both, uh, we need a dummy here. So we'll put two there, three there, and D comes out here. Now we need a dummy there because you can't have activities leaving one node and going to the other. So we need a dummy. And that's uh, asked for uh, in part B. So let's carry on from here. Uh, let's see. E depends on C. And you only number them as an arc or an activity leaves the node. So uh, E leaves C, so we number that 4. Uh, let's see, A, F depends on A and B. So uh, F depends on E and B. So let's have this one coming out here. Uh, we've got D depends on A and B. F depends on A and B, so let's take that one down there. F depends on A and B. And let's try G depends on A and B. Let's take that one up there. G depends on A and B. Uh, H depends on A and F. So let's see. For that one was E there. Oh, that works out quite nice because we've got uh, H depends on A and F, which is there. H comes out there. Let's, the next number is number 5. Uh, I depends on D. So let's take that. I there depends on D. And that is number 6. Uh, J depends on uh, G and D. So, uh, so J comes off. It depends on G, D and G. So we'll put this here. Uh, this is J, but uh, I only depends on D, so we need another dummy there. And that's number seven. And uh, let's see, K depends on H. So let's have that one there. K depends on H, and that is number eight. And uh, that's the finish, so let's just put a final node there, that's number nine, and join all the activities up to there. Well, that works out okay. So that would be good enough, but let's tidy up and uh, make it look a little bit neater. So we've got activity one, A, B, C, uh, two, three, let's have the dummy there, uh, four, And let's say G, D, and F. Okay. And make sure that all of the arrows are on and all the directions are on the activities. We've got uh, six here, seven here, five here, and then the dummy goes there. Make sure it's clear that it's dotted line and then we'll have this one here which is H which is 8 let's put all the letters on here G D F and E and then one final one here that's number 9 make everything go to there Arrows, don't forget, J, 
Aye. Okay. Uh, and yeah, that's everything. Now, it says explain why each of the two dummies is necessary. Let's do the more difficult one here, maybe A and B. So for A and B, uh, the dummy is because um, activities cannot have have the same start and finish node and finish node make sure you use the word activities as well and let's see now this one's quite easy to explain you can see here j depends on d and g as in the table uh, j depends on d and g but i here only depends on d so we'll just say exactly that j depends on d and g but i only depends on D. Let's check. That's it. Okay, that's it.